Hi, I'm Matt, and this is my dad, Emeritus Professor Charles Griffiths. He's an expert in marine biology and has found a ton of new species. And together, we're going to explore the shore. At the bottom of this pool here, we've got lots and lots of urchins. So here's a nice urchin, he's busy grazing away at this little piece of seaweed here. This is the underside of the animal's mouth is right in the center there. And he is busy feeding on this bit of seaweed. So sea urchins are also echinoderms. And uh, they have actually five equal sides, but you can't see it all that clearly because that, they're basically starfish that have kind of folded their arms over their backs and then they've all joined together at the top. And then right in the center here, of the downward facing side, the bottom of the animal, is the mouth. And actually the, uh, the anus of the animal is right in the middle of the back there. So sea urchins, like starfish, don't have a front or a back or a left or a right hand side. They actually consist of five equal plates that are arranged together to form a circle. And then there are spines that project from each of those uh, plates and each individual spine is actually mobile. It's on a little ball and socket joint with little muscles at the base so the animal can move each spine independently. And then between these spines there are rows of tube feet, two double rows of tube feet that run around the radius of the, of the animal. It'll have five of everything. It has five gonads for example. Um, What's a gonad? The reproductive organs, they are five pairs of reproductive organs and then uh, it has a very long gut like many herbivores which, is, which will be packed with seaweed which is quite difficult to digest. So Some sea urchins are, are quite nasty to pick up, the tropical ones have very sharp spines mm. and, can be and they are very poisonous. irritant there, they have, they have toxins on the spine so you don't want to pick them up. So they, these sea urchins, are they the same as other, as the starfish in that they also don't have a brain? Do they also eat the they same They also way? don't have a brain, but these are not carnivorous, so sea urchins are herbivorous. So they have five teeth in the, around the mouth here, and the teeth move together like one of those little things that you get toys from outside the, the supermarket that have grippers that come down and pick things up. So they have five teeth that come together at a point. And so they sit on the rock and they scrape those teeth together and scrape out little bunches of algae. So they all feed on, on, on algae. All vegetarians. They're all vegetarians, yeah. <laughs> One of the interesting things that you notice about them is they often conceal themselves with little bits of seaweed. So uh, many species cover themselves with pieces of seaweed. It's, just, uh, it's thought that they may be shielding themselves from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Here's the live urchin, and when the urchin dies and all these spines fall off, you're left with this shell. So let me just put this guy down. Here's the shell, and then on the underside of the shell, there, then this is where the mouth would have been. There's the mouth, and then at the middle of the top of the shell, this is the anus, and actually reproductive openings around here as well. So there will be an, a spine attached to each one of these knobs. So now the tube feet, which on a starfish are paint, pointing downwards, are now pointing outwards and upwards. And then the animal has secreted a shell to protect itself. But it's still five-sided, that's what makes it uniquely related to the starfish. If we look inside or we shake out a dead urchin test, then we can see the teeth. So here are the five teeth in the live urchin. These would be grouped together like a raptor's claw grouped together to, to all uh, come into a central point and scrape together like this. 
Here's one of the five equal parts. You see how all, they all fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, the little rims along the edge. Now if you hold that up to the sun, you can see little double rows of holes in it. And those double ro rows of holes are where the tube feet come out. So each hole represents where tube feet comes out through the shell.